Out all ladies and gents and welcome back to Freddy's Football Journey Starting off here at Rangers Oh, I didn't, I, I, I kind of wish I'd gone abroad somewhere But Rangers is a good start point because it's a very, very difficult team to manage on this game uh, I've played a couple of games since you last saw to get to this Everton tie, Everton away uh, in, To qualify for the Europa League group stages Doubtful that we'll manage it But to, in those couple of games, just to quickly catch you up uh, we where are we? We played Motherwell at home in the uh, what's it called? Bet Fred Cup, and um, we we won. We played very poorly, but we won on penalties. But the win came with a cost. As James Tavernier, I'll go through the players in a minute. James Tavernier, our best right back and my favourite player from Rangers because he used to play for Rotherham and he was awesome. He's got incredible set pieces. I'll show you in a bit. He is injured for a good few weeks. And then we played a league game against Hibernian at home, won it 2-0, comfortable, much better performance, but again, came with a cost. Our best striker, Eduardo Herrera, injured for a good few weeks. So, not great. Um, not an amazing start. 50,000 people attended the league game, though, and 30,000 for the cup game, so we're getting good crowds in. Hopeful that we can build a decent bit of money. They want us to press for a title. We do not have a title winning squad. I've tried to supplement it where I can. Let's cut to the squad. So we begin as we should with goalkeeper and we have Wes Fodringham as the first choice keeper in this squad. He is three and a half star current ability according to my uh, assistant and he looks a good keeper. Uh, valued at 1.5 million but only 26 years old. He's got many many years left in him yet. He looks a decent goalkeeper for the Scottish Premier League. Not amazing. Might have to upgrade him at some point but certainly not in the foreseeable future. Uh, he's got excellent stats really for what we need. Backup goalkeeper and potentially future starting goalkeeper is Jack Annick, formerly of Newcastle is it? Yeah, uh, he, was a, he was a wonder kid while he was at Newcastle and then it never really, well you can see here from his total appearances for Newcastle, it never really went anywhere. Uh, went to Port Vale on a free and I imagine did okay based on the fact that he played a lot of games uh, and then Rangers signed him for an undisclosed fee uh, probably it's at the end of last season then looking at that and uh, I haven't used him yet but I probably will do but I'll probably get some use out of him because he's got very good stats and actually if we just do a quick comparison uh, com oh, I hate that I hate that on these menus uh, quick comparison with Fodringham and just highlight key attributes he he actually stacks up very well against Fodringham it's I mean, if we, I mean, what are the key, the key ones for me are command of area, which he absolutely trounces him in, but then communication he loses narrowly. His handling isn't as good. Kicking, I'm not that bothered. Uh, one on ones, he's far better. Reflexes are around the same. Mentals are where Fodringham really takes him. But Jack Anik is only two years younger than Fodringham actually. But my scout, my scouts, my coach seems to think he has far better potential. Got great agility as well. I think I'll, I'll try both of them out, see who goes better on form, and then whoever plays better will get the spot. On to right back, and this is the real tragedy of the save so far, James Tavernier. 25-year-old right back, English. He is fantastic. Look at that free kick taking. Oh, he's trusting with your life. Where's his corners? The corner is only 13, but free kicks is amazing. He can play at right mid if I need him to. Probably do a job at right wing, probably do a job. At left back, centre back, not so sure on that one. Although he's six foot tall, so a, a push come to shove, he could probably do it. But sprained ankle ligaments. Twenty minutes into the first game, I had in charge. Ah, oh, for crying out loud, he'll be out for. Oh, actually, that's not as long as I thought it was. About another week to three weeks. That's not too bad. But he, he is definitely first choice right back. Second choice right back, and currently in the team is Northern Irishman Lee Hodson, who looks thoroughly unspectacular. He's got great crossing though. Um. He can tackle, he can mark, his physicals are okay, his mentals are okay, he will do as a second choice right back. Centre back is where it gets a little interesting, with Portuguese former, well who did he play for, let's actually have a quick look, uh, but Bruno Alves, so Fenerbahce, Zenit, Porto, uh, Cagliari for a year. I didn't know he went there. Um, yeah, he's 35 years old now, but he's extremely experienced, great mentals, great bravery, aggression. Um, tackling leaves a lot to be desired, but his strength, marking, heading, determination, his concentration is not great, but he 
will hopefully lead this defence, especially since I have quite a few young defenders here. Including the great potential, but now also injured <laughs> with a gashed lower leg, which isn't too bad. Aiden Wilson, a young 18-year-old Scott. The sky's the limit for this kid. He needs to improve his strength. He's not very tall for a centre-back. And when you look at his lack of height, you think, oh, maybe transition him to a defensive midfield player. Passing a four, maybe not. But he's got decent tackling, marking and heading to start off with. Uh, his positioning's good. Uh, determination we can work on with tutoring, which we are doing. Um, actually, are we yet? Let's have a quick check on that. Oh, he's injured. Oh, of course he is. Oh, damn it. Right, okay. When, he, when he's back, I will remember to do that. And another centre-back in this squad with decent potential is Danny Finlayson. Finlayson, who's only 16 years old. I've promoted him for the under-20s. Uh, same with Aiden before. Uh, good tackling, marking and heading for a 16-year-old. He's 6 foot 1. He might grow more. He's already got 13 strength, 11 jumping reach. Uh, he's not particularly agile <laughs> or balanced. He falls over a lot, all right? His mentals have some very low spots, but again... We'll get a bit of tutoring on that just to work. Oh, he's already been tutored. Oh, so that's the one I set up with Bruno. I knew I'd done one of them. See? See? I am paying attention. Sort of. But making up an all-Portuguese centre-back first-team partnership, we have Fabio Cardozo, 23-year-old uh, Portuguese, as I mentioned. A little bit of room to grow, yeah, according to my coaches. And he has great overall stats for a centre-back. Nothing outstanding, but nothing bad. I mean, have the highlighted stats there of key for central defender, is anything below a 12? No, it's not, is it? The lowest two are positioning of strength and concentration and aggression. They're all 12. Everything else, but nothing's above 14. He's just very, he's very middle of the road, very solid, hopefully a solid dependable centre-back for us, and he might get better. He might get even better. And routing off the centre-backs is a man who started off at Rangers, went to Liverpool for £2 million, did precisely nothing, and then wound up back here on a free What's that? Six years later? <laughs> Danny Wilson. Uh, he's 25 years old now. Again, he could get better. My coaches don't think so. Uh, he is strictly a backup option. You know, the determination of 18, he can probably do some excellent things in tutoring. We'll wait until the injured lad's back. In terms of left backs, the club only has one on the books, and that is Lee Wallace. Uh, excellent physical stats. He's 30 years old now, but so these will start to dip. Uh, mentals are okay. Technicals, okay. Defensive fullback is not what I like. It's a good job that they do actually have one in on loan already. And that's Declan John, who will be starting at left back for us. He, my coaches think he's great. I look at this and I can't help but agree. That crossing could be a little better. Um, tackling and marking are solid. Just generally, he looks a decent, decent left back. Could get a little better. My coaches don't think so. I think he could at 22. Uh, well, she's got two caps for Wales. I don't know if we'll get that many more. Maybe if we can go on to great things, we can get him some more Wales caps. But it uh, looks all right. It, it'll do. He's on loan from Cardiff. Not much to say. But there's plenty to say about Jordan Rossiter, former wonder kid on this game, formerly at Liverpool, never really broke into their first team, moved to Rangers for 250 grand at the beginning of the last season. Or maybe not the beginning, since he's only played four games. But he's played both games so far for me at 7.55. I'm loving him. Um, sitting him deep. Or he can play further up. Either way, he's best as a ball winner. Uh, with tackling a 14, marking a 30, you can see why. But he's got good first touch, good passing, good technique. Excellent mentals across the board. Nothing in single figures. Decent physicals. Although, if he's playing as a you know ball in midfield, he doesn't need to have much pace. Uh, my coaches aren't sure whether he's going to grow or not. I think he definitely will at 20 years old. If he gets lots of game time and we do well as a team and he keeps playing this well, he will grow. But in terms of defensive midfield players, we don't actually have anyone else who could play there, so I've loaned one in. To supplement our former wonder, uh, wonder Kid from Liverpool, I've loaned in a current Wonder Kid from Liverpool. That's Cam Cam Cameron Brannigan, say that fast. He's actually older than Jordan, which is weird, but he is still on Liverpool's books, despite also not having break broken into the first team yet. Uh, he's too old to not need registering now. So I think Liverpool might be looking to offload him. But again, he looks solid enough. He, he prefers to play as a playmaker, but he can drop deeper. Oh, not that well. Ooh. Maybe I should have looked at this a bit more before I signed him, but <laughs> he can play. He can play in the centre of my midfield and do a decent job. I've signed him with a broken hand. He can't play yet. But he, 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 will, uh, he, he will play a part. 
Maybe the man I signed in to be defensive midfield cover is Maitland Niles, although again, maybe not. Um, but he can play central midfield, he can play at fullback, sort of, he can play at wing, sort of. He looks good though, he's got a lot of room to grow on loan from Arsenal for completely free. This is costing us no money to have him. Uh, he's got good physicals, decent medals for a young player, got good technique, passing, first touch, dribbling, crossing could be a bit better. He can take a long shot, sort of. I think he will grow in the year that we have him now. So I'm going to try and give him as much net game time as I can. And hopefully those three stars will become three and a half, maybe even four. But we do have some other central midfield players at the club already. Uh, Graham Dorans, formerly of Norwich. Yeah, Norwich and West Brom for a long time in the Premier League. He's played a lot of, a lot of Premier League football, never really set the world on fire. But he is a solid playmaker. Um, yeah. He's all right, isn't he? <laughs> He'll probably get in the team uh, most weeks. I, but based on form, I'm not wild about him. And 6.45 average in the league so far, 6.62 overall. He might not stay in the team with all these young lads nipping at his heels. We also have Mexican 27-year-old centre mid, Carlos Peña. Another playmaker, probably better than Doran's looking at his stats. But he is currently Marty with me. Um... Well, he's he's not very happy about anything really. I, I asked him to tutor with some young players and he was having none of it. He just got strap on. So I don't know if I'll be playing him. <laughs> I probably should because he's probably our best midfield player. But he's being Marty, so I want to drop him. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll see how I feel. I'll see how, how uh, my temperament is going into the first match. It's against Everton, isn't it? I'll probably need him. Damn it. Now, according to my coaches, our best midfield player is Ryan Jack, who will, will soon be back from a calf strain another week or two. My coaches think he's four star ability. I look at this, I don't really see it. All right, he's a ball winning midfielder and we can play him deeper. But with tackling of 12, marking of 10, it's his passing that's his strength, but he has a lot of weaknesses. His mentals are okay, his physicals aren't too bad. But since his passing is his greatest strength, the fact that he doesn't really like playing as a playmaker that much, I'm not too sure on him. I'll give him a go, or of course I will. But I'm not too sure on him with a value at 3.3 million might be worth cashing in if anyone's interested. Now, one thing I'm currently trying to address at this club at the minute is the lack of wingers uh, because I am playing wingers, as you'll see in a minute, and we only have two and they both prefer to be on the right. Uh, on the right at the minute is the lesser of the two wingers, probably. Uh, which is Josh Windass, although he did score in the last game, and I think he looks fairly decent. 23 years old, a uh, bit of potential to grow into, decent bit of pace, decent dribbling and crossing, uh, passing's all right, Te technique's all right, mentals could use some work. In fact, let's have a look who can shoot at you. Uh, let's go for the other winger that we have. Great, great segue into going and looking at him. Daniel Kendalas, come on, mate, do this, do me this favour. Don't get stroppy. Why is it frozen? Oh no, okay, it just it it just lagged a little, it's fine, it's fine. And so our other winger currently prefers the right, but he can also play on the left. Currently playing on the left is Daniel Candier. Can I said Candelas, that's not an L, that's an I. Capital I. Daniel Candier Daniel. And um apart from the severe lack of strength, he does look good. Crossing is excellent, dribbling is very good, his first touch is excellent. He can take free kicks when Tavernier is injured, like he is now. Uh, his long shots are right, his passing's good, his technique's good, his work rate's excellent, and yeah, he just generally looks like a good, good winger. And uh, we've got a lot of a, a strong Portuguese contingent in this squad. Now, we're not currently utilising attacking midfielders, but were we to, we do have a couple of strong contenders. First up is the 33 year old now, Nico Cranchar, formerly of Spurs, Portsmouth, uh, Dynamo Kiev, QPR a couple of times. Uh, New York Cosmos for seven matches and now Rangers. Um, his technical ability is unquestionable. Technique of 18, first touch 17. He's a very good technical player. Work rate's a little low, but then if you're playing him in the hole behind a striker, it doesn't really matter too much. Great composure. He'll get some game time. In, in games where I think we should dominate, he'll probably play. Uh, he can't move, but um, other than that, he looks a very good linchpin around which to build a, a more controlling tactic. The alternative being Jason Holt, who can move, who does work, great off the ball, uh, also good composure, but his technical ability uh, quite clearly far worse than Nico Cranshaw, but an entirely different option. In a game where we're trying to press and attack, he's probably a better choice 
Dan Cranshaw. Again, I'll play with this as the season goes on. And finally into our strikers, and we'll start with the best one according to my coaches, who is currently absolutely cropped out for two to three weeks. Uh, six foot two, strong Mexican, 29 year old target man with 12 heading. <laughs> it's Eduardo Herrera. Although he did play well before he got cropped. Uh, eight goals, no, eight, six goals in eight games, nine games uh, so far this year. Uh, in the Premier League, he hasn't scored, but in the Europa League, he has six in six, so that's pretty decent. Uh, he'll get a run out when, we, when he comes back. We'll definitely be trying him out. Of course, Kenny Miller's still here. Uh, he can play as defensive forward. He can do anything I want him to, really. He's got amazing mental stats. He is the captain. Of course he is. Got great finishing still, good long shots. Can take a penalty. He can't do much else. He can still move for a 37-year-old. He can still move. He'll be very much involved in this team this year. Uh, he's the spiritual leader at Rangers. He's a tenacious battling man how is his aggression 12 that makes no sense but he is 75 grand if anyone wants him no i'm not selling i'm not selling kenny miller he will retire at ranges penultimate player on this rundown is 21 year old colombian striker with the sky is the limit for his potential alfredo morelos uh great strength five foot ten but reasonable jumping reaching heading 16 finishing he will be playing advanced forward i want to get chances to him uh, his composure could do with a little bit of work but with 16 finishing i dare say he'll get a few goals for us this year and if he doesn't i've already got some backup in in the form of west ham loney tony martinez now he does not look amazing but west ham have let him let us have him for nothing so yeah uh, he's got 17 determination he's got decent finishing and first touching technique don't know if he's going to be very good, uh, but he's worth having as a backup option. He's 20 year old, he's Spanish. Yeah, it's sky's the limit for him in terms of potential as well. We'll give him a few runs out, see how he does. Uh, but if he doesn't play well, then he might end up going back in January. We'll see, won't we? I remember now why I didn't have another defensive midfielder. It's because I was waiting for Luke Amos to arrive. Luke Amos in on loan from Spurs. He looks alright. <laughs> it's not going to set the world on fire, but he will stand as a good backup centre mid, uh, or more importantly, backup central defensive mid behind Rossiter, around the same age as him, but I don't think he's as good. Um, but if Rossiter gets injured or is poor for a while, then he will come in, and I think he should be able to do a decent job in the SPL. Just checking the loan rules here, maximum of five domestic-based players allowed on loan in a season, or four domestic players allowed on loan at one time. Pretty sure I'm already over that, aren't I? Because I've got Declan John, Maitland Niles, Tony Martinez, Brannigan, and Amos. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm already over that. And I've just signed, uh, agreed another one for Harry Wilson, a young Liverpool winger. We'll see how this goes. I might be only able to play a few of them at a time. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, don't say I've messed up already. All right, after an age of simming through all these millions of leagues that I've put in this save, we're ready for the first game. Ooh, against against Everton away at Goodison Park. The away leg. We're going standard. I considered going counter or defensive, but I'm not going to. Going standard, just two instructions, be more disciplined and prevent short distribution. Uh, we're going Fodring, we're going Maitland Niles at right back, which he isn't fully comfortable with. Uh, Cardozo and Bruno Alves, the first choice centre back partnership. Cardozo is not amazingly fit, recently back from injury, but he's so much better than such as Wilson that I feel like I need to go with him for this. Uh, Alves in there's a ball playing defender, uh, Declan John at fullback, uh, Rossiter in the hole with Dorans as box to box and Pena as advanced for might drop that back. To... No, we won't. No, we won't. And we'll go Windas, Candelas, who both played excellent in that league game uh, against a Hibernian, and then <laughs> Morelos up front as an advanced forward. Um, I will prefer a more defensive rolled forward in there. Actually, I could go Kenny Miller and play him as a defensive, yeah we're going to, yeah we're going to, defensive forward, Kenny Miller up top, let's do it, oh this is good, I like this, an Everton side that I'm very familiar with, they're my other save at the minute on this game, Robles in goal, Holgate, Keane, Williams, Garbutt, he got Mardi for me and wanted to be first choice and I told him no and I sold him, uh, Gay and Schneiderlin, Morales, Rodney, Sigurdsson on the left, oh, this, is this real life? And Sandro up top. Sigurdsson absolutely wasted out here. Why is he not in the middle? What's he doing in the team? 
watch him crack a hat trick now I've said that about him right to team talk time I'm gonna be calm and I'm gonna say we've got nothing to lose because it's true and then those of them that love that can stay just with that and the rest of you can have a little bit of calm faith nothing wrong with a bit of calm faith none of them particularly care about the calm faith Ah, oh, tunnel interviews, whatever. Um, anyone have missed James Coleman? We've looked good in training. Yeah, whatever. Go away. Let's play. So yeah, I forgot to mention, after we beat Hibbs, uh, Neil Lennon is now their manager. And he was having at large before the game in the press, <laughs> calling me out, um, trying to rile me up. And then we beat him comfortably 2-0. We beat him with absolute ease. And he was still having at large afterwards. I'm like, what? What is this man on? Um, they've had all of the ball so far here. And then they come forward. His whole gate at right back. Plays it out to Gilfie, to Schneiderlin. He's going to bang one of his. It's miles over. Not worried. From managing Schneiderlin for a season now on FM18, I know that he's just going to shoot from there and that it's going to be awful. Because that's what he does. Gilfie over the free kick forever and lifts it in. Headed away. All right, can we counter? Come on, lads. Declan John. Well, that is just woeful, isn't it, really? Luke Garbutt, forward for Schneiderlin. Rodney, Sandro, great play. Idrissa Gay, has that hit the bar? Has that hit the post or the bar or something? Uh, mm. <laughs> this is a worrying start. I do, we just need to not get battered here. I might switch to the defensive or counter. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, I'm going to switch to counter because they have all of the ball. So we're just going to switch it on to counter. And maybe structured as well. Let's go. Still all them. Gilfie over the free kick. Pops it in, header away. Oh, where are you going, mate? Come and close that down. Rodney shoots over. They can keep shooting from range or the like. Which one of these is going to be a highlight? Right, this one? Okay. <laughs> Morales <laughs> Sandro back that to Morales on the right wing he's going to do Declan John oh it's deflected oh Christ we are living dangerously alright can we attack now it's Maitland Niles Rossiter Dorrance Pena don't give it away good man no oh, ok <laughs> that's the best that's the best we've had in half an hour <laughs> this is going to go well Oh, and here they come, Morales. Schneiderlin, space for Rodney. Great tackle, Pena. All right, get up and support him. Good. Dorrance, box to box roll. Back to Kenny Miller. Play it wide. Good. Declan John across the box. Great ball. Yes! Jack Windass again. Josh Windass. Oh, that's he, he scored pretty much the exact goal uh, in the league game against Hibbs. Get in. Get in, Jackie Boy. Let's Josh Windass. Have another look from the reverse angle. Dorrance brings it forward. An away goal as well. Kenny Miller feeds it wide left. Declan John over the top. Jack Windass. Josh Windass. Yes, son. Great finish. He waves his arms around like a mentler. And he does it again. Is he patting his head? Is he patting his own head? I just patted my own head. Okay, corner in injury time. Garbert takes it deep. Morales, great touch. Great hit. Oh, I thought that was in. I thought that was in for a second. <laughs> it's half time. Wow, Fenerbahce have destroyed Astana away from home. Uh, any other notable? I don't really care. Dressing room. <laughs> don't get complacent. Calm. All right. Nothing else said. Nothing else needs saying. Let's just go. I'm very much of a mind with Dr. Benji when things are going well. Even though it doesn't look it's going well in those match stats. We're 1-0 up. Just, just don't change anything. Clearly, whatever it is, is working. We're keeping them at bay. Um, their four players are having poor games. You know, this is going well so far. I just zoomed out accidentally then, so I just zoomed back in. Sorry if that disorients anyone when I do this. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> Sigurdsson wide left for Everton. Oh, that's a poor attempt at a tackle. I thought that was going in as well for a second. West Frodingham saved it. Good man, I nearly dropped my bike. Sorry if that <laughs> came across really badly. Here's Rodney with the corner for Everton. Well headed away. Miller. Kenny Miller's going to get that clear. <laughs> yes, he is. He's going to dribble to the byline and then just smash it into the crowd. No nonsense. Declan John with a throw for us. Let's zoom in a bit. I've lost the zoom setting a light now because I was messing about. It's Morales for them. Joel Robles. Where's Pickford? 
Joel gets the nod tonight. Hoofs it down the line. No one's there, but John's just going to nod it to him anyway. Well, cheers, mate. Rodney. Poor ball, but Sandro retrieves it. Got Gilfie a wide left. He's going to find him. Gilfie inside for Schneider in to Gay. I'm worried. Rooney. No, I'm not sure. Why was I worried? Why was I worried about Rooney shooting with his back to goal? So an hour gone and we're still 1-0 up. Oh, are we? Yes, we are. Fodringham, good save. We're still 1-0 up. And I'm hesitant to do anything. Rositers had just got booked for that free kick that you just saw there. But I don't really want to change anything else because I'm worried that if I do, then it'll all fall apart. No one's struggling for fitness, uh, which I'm impressed with Cardozo for not doing with his being freshly back from injury. Uh, there's some people having quite poor games, but no one really that I can bring them off for that I think would be an improvement. Sandro cutting in onto the right. Mo Besic. Uh, oh, Fodringham saves. Oh, just hold on. If we beat them, if we beat them, not only would it be an amazing result to start this save, it would be something that I can rub in front of his face. <laughs> See, it's in wide right. That's poor. That's poor. Come on, lads. 75 minutes, still hesitant to change anything. They've brought Jagielka on for Holgate so, and David Clarsen on for Guy. So are they switching to three at the back? Why have my preferences changed? I mean, I just noticed this. I normally have opponent's formation here. Uh, Everton formation. No, they're still four at the back. 85 minutes gone now. Right. What are they going to conjure? Schneider in forward. Oh, they've got space. It's a poor shot. It's going to be a corner. I'm going to make changes. 85 minutes gone. It's not a corner. It's a goal kick. Right. Pena's going to come off. My, my voice is going. <clears throat> Pena's going to come off. Um, oh, I don't really have a more defensive midfielder that I can bring on for him. Deep line playmaker defend. Is there anyone that can play it? Other than Dorin's. Maitland Niles can, but I don't have anyone else that can play right back, do I? No. Oh dear. Um, I was worried Sandro was in then on the background here, but he's not. Jason Holt can do it a bit. Yeah, go on. Fresh legs. Jason Holt can go in. Oh. <laughs> I'm worried. Uh, let's bring Wallace in. And maybe move him back here. As you know what? Yeah, that'll do. And uh, uh <laughs> why am I so worried? Come on. It's still my beating heart. Um do I wanna bring Rossiter off? Don't really have anyone to bring off for him. Oh, we'll drop Windass back here as well, like this. Uh, just give us a bit more of a defensive base. Just roll with that. 86 minutes gone. Come on, hold on for this. This will be incredible. What a way to start the series. Come on. Come on. If anything, it's going to be us that's going to score another. Wallace, ball in. No one's there. Garbutt heads it. Nowhere. Is Kenny Miller? Oh, oh, referee! Superb sliding tackle. It says at the bottom there, but that was from behind. That could have been a penalty. Imagine if we won it two 0 without only two shots on target. Oh, that's going to be the end. Yes! What a start! Oh, yes! I'm I'm delighted with that. That's fantastic. Get in. What a way to end the first episode. Oh, come back next time. We'll play the uh, the Hearts game in the league and we'll play the second leg against Everton. I've been Freddie do. This is my journey. My journey all the way to Scotland. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Peace.